Hurricane Milton is now a Category 4 storm with 145 mile an hour winds and currently 190 miles southwest of Tampa, moving northeast at 17 miles per hour. It is expected to make landfall near the Tampa area tonight. We can expect the size of the hurricane to widen as it makes landfall. This will bring tropical force winds throughout most of the state. Hello everyone, I'm Andy Hodges for Sebastian Daily. Later today, we'll be interviewing Sheriff Eric Flowers this afternoon after his meeting with the county's emergency management team. And Sebastian, here's the local forecast from the National Weather Service as of 11 a.m. today. We can expect winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts as high as 70 miles per hour in Sebastian, Mico, and Vero Beach. Tropical storm force winds will begin early this evening and will last until Thursday afternoon. Now again, they are saying winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour with gusts as high as 70 miles per hour for our local area. We will provide an update if this changes, but the forecast hasn't changed since yesterday. Also, a tornado watch is in effect until 9 p.m. tonight. The schools are closed until Monday in Indian River County. And while the storm is expected to pass directly over Brevard County, Authorities have not issued mandatory evacuation orders for either Brevard or Indian River County. We can expect rainfall amounts of four to six inches, but we're going to be okay. Hopefully you've done all your preparations for this hurricane, and now we just wait out the storm. The tracking is wobbling between Cape Canaveral and Melbourne. We are in the cone of uncertainty. The current track puts Milton north of us as a Category 1 hurricane anywhere from 20 to 50 miles north of us, depending if the tracking doesn't move farther south. And this tracking will continue to move north and south. As this storm makes landfall, it is going to widen because of the cooler air. And this is typical for a Gulf storm. Now let's take a look at some updated weather models of the storm. Here is the Euro model, which puts Milton and the Tampa area before moving to the northeast. And here's the GFS model, which shows landfall farther north of Tampa and continuing north. And both of these models have been consistent with a northern landfall. Tonight, expect loud winds as they intensify, especially during gusts. Just stay in your safe place. Remember the local forecasts for the National Weather Service. And please stay indoors tonight and avoid the waterfront until the storm has passed. The strong winds could pick up boards from the piers and turn them into flying objects, so please stay inside. I will continue these updates with new information provided by the National Weather Service about our local area. Stay tuned to Sebastian Daily for continued updates. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube. Stay safe, everyone.